trying to start the camera <laughs> there it is hello everyone welcome and thank you for waiting to me while that timer just went down it just kind of went in super speed mode just before i don't know if you noticed that but i didn't even do that that just kind of had a mind of its own welcome to the supercharged smoothie boot camp closeout party we always love 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 coming in and having some time where we can actually talk back and forth and to close it out with a bit of heart. And I'm so grateful, so grateful that you guys have really thrown yourselves in. I have loved seeing the photos coming through. I've loved getting the private messages coming through. I've just, often when you work online, it's kind of, it's you feel a bit detached, but these types of boot camps really help me connect with you guys, really help me to, see the impact that's happening i love to hear how you're feeling so fantastic how you've realized that healthy living can just be so much easier than what you might have thought before and that you can actually get your family drinking such nutrient dense smoothies like who knew i got a message from a friend of mine actually who uh, she did the boot camp a couple of boot camps ago and she's got a daughter my daughter's age she's 14 and she sent me a picture saying uh, this is my smoothie hating daughter and it was a picture of her on the bus on the way to school drinking a smoothie happily so she was just so stoked that her daughter who said she hated smoothies can act, would actually start accepting not even just accepting but loving and enjoying such nutrient dense smoothies I mean you can't even compare these smoothies to the regular run of the mill you know frozen banana with a splash of milk and honey like that's the type of smoothie that you might get elsewhere maybe with some spinach thrown in but the level of nutrition that our body craves and that gets delivered in these is just makes my heart sing now um, I'm preaching the, to the converted I know because you've all been here for the last 10 days I'm gonna get stuck in we've got lots of prizes to give away oh no I forgot I was going to grab the prizes to show you. Dang it. Okay. Well, please say hello in the comments. I'm going to come over here. Oh, thank you. Someone said great challenge, Lainey. Thank you. I'm glad you thought so. Um, if you are live, can you click the link that's in the description above this video? It won't, I don't think it's going to take you off the live, but it's going to be easy to find your way back again, even if it does. 
Um, it just allows me to see your name because at the moment, because I'm using a third party streaming software so we can go live onto YouTube as well as live into the Facebook group because there are some people without Facebook who are participating in the challenge. Thank you, Cheryl. Hi, I can see your name now. Um, if you could just click that link real quick, I would love to be able to see your name and I need to be able to see your name if you want to win a prize today. So if you want to win a prize, make sure you click the link. Um, oh, okay. Someone said I've pressed on it, but I don't know if it works. Um, yeah, no, it hasn't worked. Do you know what? I'm going to give you guys just a minute to click on that link because I really want to get the prizes to show you so that you can see what you're winning. And I'm going to get myself a quick drink of water. I'm going to run. You guys click that link and uh, I'll be back in just a jiffy. And if anyone joins the live and doesn't know what's going on, just type in and tell them what's going on. And please. Hi, <laughs> it says, um, thank you for telling me that. Gosh, uh, thank you for telling me that you couldn't hear me. Um, I guess when I walked away, there was a little window that that come that came up when I arrived back saying that my browser had, had a little hissy fit. So perhaps it put me on mute during that time. So thank you. Thanks everyone for clicking the link. I can see quite a few names there now. I can still see some just Facebook user. So I'm not sure if your name but I can see Cheryl and Catherine. I can see Brittany and Brittany. Thanks for letting me know that it took you elsewhere. That's good to know for the future. And Jennifer. Good. Okay. That's good. Beautiful. And someone said, yes, it took me to say this. Thank you. Now we'll see your name and picture. Oh, oh, okay. So it took me to say this. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah, that's good. I'm glad that it, that worked. Okay, welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. Thank you for joining me live. We've got a bit of fun. We've got lots of prizes to give out and I'm going to give you some great tips. I do have, oh, and you're going to get your ebook. You're also going to get your savings code. There's a whole lot of goodness going on today. And I have an apology to make. Something's come up with the family and I'm going to do the Q&A tomorrow because of that. But that's okay, right? We'll just get all the fun stuff done today and it will be a bit shorter today because it's the middle of the day. It might be a bit hard for a lot of people. And then tomorrow I'll come in again and I'll do the Q&A. Sound okay to you guys? I hope you're okay with that and thank you for understanding. Hashtag family life. <laughs> and Bronwyn Tilly, yeah, that's fine. Look, if um, oh, someone's saying where's the link, the link so that I can see your name is it's in the description right above this video. If you click see more, if you don't see it, they just click see more and you'll see that there's a little StreamYard link. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Thank you. Uh, what time tomorrow, Roma? That's a very good question. Um, I'm fairly flexible tomorrow. I've got the farmer's market in the morning and uh, something in the afternoon. So I'll probably look, let's commit to a time here. I'm going to say 11. All right. I'm going to be in here at 11 tomorrow for the Q&A. And look, if you've got a question that you haven't submitted just yet, 
go ahead, send it on. A lot of them have been coming through on Messenger, which is totally fine. You can just hit reply on any of the messages that I've sent you and I'll get your question there. Or you can post it in the Facebook group. Please don't post it in this live chat because I may lose it when I close out of this session. Okay. Whew, just had to dump those prizes down. Let's get started. So today I want to show you before we start. Well, um, I'm getting the hang of all these screen share things. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, okay. It's not a screen share that I want to do. I'm going to give some kudos to the people who have just been smashing it. Let's hope this works. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if this works. Like I said before, I have just been, I, I, I adore seeing these things come through. And before I draw the first winner, I'm going to show you this. So this was just in the last 24 hours, just some of the things coming through. Lizzie, I love Lizzie's surname. I don't know if that's her real surname, but if that's your real surname, Lizzie, I'm pretty jealous. I think that's an awesome surname. Lizzie Cupcake is her name. Uh, she said, this is my brekkie. It's not very pretty, but it has strawberries and kale in it with cacao for a chocolate flavor. Thanks for the knowledge on a variety of ingredients and how important it is not just to have the same things over and over. This has been great timing as I've just finished some strong antibiotics for an ear infection and my guts have been screaming for some help. That is just so beautiful, Lizzie. Thank you for sharing. And I'm with you. When I make strawberry and kale smoothie together, it does go that color. Um, but I'll give you a tip in just a moment if you're serving that for a child who might not like the color. Uh, Danielle said, here's my smoothie, boosted and delicious. So grateful for all the knowledge you share here and in previous challenges. I've seen Danielle pop up for quite a long time. I was actually just checking in an old group from a couple of years ago and she did the smoothie boot camp back there, back then. So I love when people come and do refreshes inside um, any current challenge or boot camp that we do. You're welcome back as many times as you'd like because sometimes we just need a little bit of a refresher, a little bit of a pick me up and just to get back on the horse and to be caring for ourselves the way that we can because it's not realistic for us to stay, you know, 100% all the time. We ebb and we flow. There are seasons in the weather. There are seasons in our life. And if you're living in a super cold climate, you might not always want smoothies for the whole year. I get that. So I just love to welcome people back. Uh, here we go. Just a couple more. Megan said, this is my chocolate mousse all rounder. I did the smoothie challenge a few years back and loved it. Doing this as a refresher and to get me back on the smoothie bandwagon. The area of my health that could do with the most improvement at the moment is diversity. I know how important it is, but when we're a busy family, it's easy to eat the same handful of meals each week. Yes. By starting the day with my smoothie again, I know I'm getting a heap of good stuff straight up. Then I have more space to think about how I can boost our other meals too. Megan, I'm with you. When I start my day on a smoothie like this, it's just like for one, it makes you feel on top of the world and more capable and ready to take on the other meals of the day and the other tasks and demands on your schedule for the day. But it also just really, um, it gives you, well, I mean, how many ingredients? I used to know this off the top of my head. Like if you're using a booster, it's like 12 to 15 ingredients plus your fruit and your veg, you might be hitting like 20 ingredients, 20 different whole foods with different fibers, different phytonutrients in your breakfast alone. That really takes the pressure off the rest of the day, doesn't it? I was teaching a workshop recently at a local church and one of the biggest takeaways that I wanted people to walk away with was this concept of plant points. All the gut experts globally talk about plant points and it's actually pretty fun actually. You can get your kids, let me just... Uh, you, you can get your kids in on this. If they're, if your kids are a little bit competitive and you want something to just help them embrace and want to have lots of different whole foods, what you can do is this. Get a whiteboard marker, make sure it's not permanent, and you can write on the fridge 
or you can get a piece of paper if that's better for you. I think I might have shared this in the pre-party, so sorry for those who were there. But you can get your kids to write down every single plant, including herbs and spices and onion and garlic and spinach and like whatever plant foods they have, rice, whatever, on the fridge and have have them have a little competition amongst the family to see who can get the most plant points for the week. And this might actually be a great way for you to introduce smoothie boosters into their day as well because it's going to help them get ahead of everyone else but this is the number one thing that we can do for our gut health which means it's the number one thing we can do for our physical and mental health as well is if we can get a diverse range of whole foods in on a regular basis then we're going to be on in really good stead for robust gut health uh Someone said, well, I'm in. Oh, I've loved this refresher. Love all the products. Oh, thank you. That's beautiful. I'm not sure who you are. Uh, yes, yeah, so true diversity. I do get stuck on the same old things all the time and not getting new things into my family with fussy eaters. Gosh, I speak to mums every day or at least every week inside of our coaching membership. And there are some great things we can do with fussy eaters. If you want to send me a DM and give me just a little snapshot of who's in your family and what's going on, I would just love to give you a couple of tips. Um, if you're struggling with picky eaters, I, it's my jam. I love to help people out. So just send me a DM and I'd love to have a chat with you. All right. And Brittany, no problem at all. That's fine. Okay. So I think we've got one more of these to go. Uh, Sarah, Sarah, thank you for all the amazing inspiration, support, and wealth of knowledge you've shared throughout both this and the fiber challenge. I'm currently studying nutrition woo, and have been learning alongside my course with your amazing challenges. This information is so valuable for living a vibrant and nourished life, especially empowering to reach our children. What an amazing start to their health journey. Yes, Makes me so happy. Thank you, everyone. I love hearing from you. All right. So, Let's um, talk about what we're going to do today. We're going to where because for anyone who's just joined, because of a bit of a, a family thing that's come up for me, I'm going to do the Q&A part tomorrow at 11 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Um, today we're going to do all the fun stuff. We're going to give out some prizes and uh, give you some tips and then we'll say goodbye. But for now, I'm going to give you the ebook. The ebook is it's quite, it's quite, for those who have had the ebook before, which is anyone who's ordered a Smoothie Booster blend and anyone who's ever done the boot camp before, this is going to be your smoothie e-Bible. Put it that way. Like it is not just a regular ebook. I'm actually going to show you. Let's see. Here it is here. I'm actually going to start by showing you the, the end, which is the index. This is just like a little throwaway bit at the end, which basically is just listing all of the different foods that we speak about plus way more. And it gives you the health benefits. So if you're ever wondering, oh, what, what food can I reach for that's going to target this particular health goal I have? Flick over to the back of the ebook, you're going to find an index there, and you're going to have lots of really valuable information just there for you. Now, moving up, we have all the recipes and more. You only got the very core base, what, five recipes for five smoothies. This ebook probably has like, I don't know, 20, 25. And look, there's a boosted banana chalk ice cream right here. There's cocoa pops, which my gosh, Belinda Smith from The Root Cause created this recipe with our blend. Uh, there's all sorts of recipes in here. The, the bonus uh, subjects of the, keto, the ketogenic smoothie, there's lots of those in there. I haven't yet put the perimenopause um, recipes in there. I have to do that. I have to update the book. And in fact, this book needs updating anyway. The links in this ebook are not quite current. They go to our old website. So in a minute, I'm actually going to give you a binge watch page and that's where you can go to shop and I'm going to give you a discount code as well. But you've got all these recipes, but then beyond the recipes, you've actually got lots of information. This is how to make ketogenic smoothies. 
and topping options. Look, there is so there's so much in here. There's ideas to substitute things that you don't have or that you can't have for dietary requirements. There's basically all the information that we covered in the boot camp and more in here. Like here's all the options for good fats. You know, if we talk about the formula for a supercharged smoothie and we talk about good fats and protein, and this is going to give you all the different options that you can select for that piece of the formula. So I hope that you love the ebook. It took me a long time to make it. <laughs> and uh, that is coming your way on the binge watch page. Now, as for the binge watch page, I'm going to give that to you now. Uh, let me grab this link. I'm going to put it in the comments. I know that it won't appear on YouTube. Sorry for those on YouTube. Um, but I will also put it right here on screen. And this is your binge watch page. So this is, uh, hang on, there you go. Uh, so from now up until midnight Monday, you can watch all of the videos plus the bonus videos of the ketogenic and the vegan gut loving smoothie. And I'm actually going to record the perimenopause or the perimeno smoothie as well. We had a question for the Q&A tomorrow that I'm going, to, I'm going to dive into, which was, you know, I'm in perimenopause. What ingredients are going to support, like which foods can I put in my smoothie that will support me through perimenopause? I've got you back. Like I actually created a whole perimenopause masterclass, nutritional masterclass, and then explained why we've put all the ingredients into the perimenopause blend. So watch out for that one. But on that page, you'll find your discount code, which is SSBLENDS20. I'm going to show you that one now. So SSBLENDS20, guys, that is your discount code. It's going to give you 20% off until midnight Monday. Now, bear in mind, um, that's a code that, you can only use once. So if you've used it in a previous boot camp, you're probably not going to be able to use it again this time. I'm sorry, but it's just for first time people, the 20% off. And there's a minimum of $70 spend, I believe it is. Um, so that's your gift for participating inside the smoothie boot camp. So thank you. And you welcome Bronwyn. And for those people who are saying thank you about the ebook. And Roma, yeah, look, it's it, Roma, it's not quite the same as the first ebook that we put out. It is updated, but it does need updating again. <laughs> uh, Petra said, um, I've printed and laminated the individual smoothie recipes and hung them in the pantry for a quick reference. That's awesome, Petra. Do you know what? I've been toying with some ideas about magnets or about a little flip. Like, you know how you can get those little keyring flip silver things and you can have laminated little recipe cards on there. I've been thinking about, you know, how to get the recipes centralized and convenient for people when you're in the kitchen and when you want them right there. And then if you have any ideas, let me know what you think would be convenient. Okay. Now, what have I, what am I up to now? I think it's time to give out a prize. What do you think? I think it is. I think we should go, um, Let's do, let me just hide that comment. Let's go to challenge number four prize. Challenge number four prize. You guys, not many people did this. There are like four of you. So if you, uh, if you were one of the four that did challenge four, you've got a really good chance of winning something right here. <laughs> Okay, so the challenge was to make your uh, premix uh, bags of your fruit and your veg so that you can just dump it in the blender with some liquid and your booster. And my gosh, it makes your mornings amazingly convenient. I know it's an extra, extra step, but Kirsty did it, Jody did it, Helen did it. Uh, oh no, sorry, Helen was asking a question. Danielle and Lizzie did it. So I'm going to come over here and, and do the wheel of names and then we're going to draw some other prizes because we've uh, got lots of lots of prizes to give out and only so much time, right? Gosh, this um, I'm just figuring out this green share here. 
Here we go. The Wheel of Names. Let's do it. Uh, okay, so there's four. Here we go. I thought it was going to be Danielle, but it's Lizzie. Congrats, Lizzie. Are you here? I don't know if you're here, Lizzie. Let's. Oops. And Lizzie, um, I should have just quickly checked, but I um, I'm not sure which blend you won. Challenge number four. I'll make sure that I get that to you. Congratulations. Um, you've won uh, a smoothie blend here. Let me just go and check which one it is. It's the D Detox Smoothie. So it's the Green Goddess Detoxifier Smoothie, which is awesome. And you're also going to get the ebook for kids. It's an awesome storybook for kids. I'm actually writing the second edition right now for our coaching membership people inside No Fast Nourish Method. And it talks about the microbes in their gut being their friends. The friends they don't know they have. That's the name of it. And it talks about how each of them have little superpowers and they can activate the superpowers of that friend by giving them their favourite food. And it lists out their superpowers and it lists out their favourite foods. And at the end of the book, it encourages the child to pick one of the superpowers that they want more of in their life. Things like you know, making sure you don't get sick so often and taking away stinky breath. Like there's some funny like kid-based ones that they would absolutely adore, but they're all accurate. These microbes are amazing. And they can then go through and pick one of the foods, the favourite foods of that friend or that microbe that will then activate that superpower. So it helps them understand that food coming into their gut looks after their microbes that then do good things for them. The second edition of the book is going to introduce the villains or the bullies that are also in amongst with the friends and they also have superpowers and, you know, which foods feed them and this, the gutville and brainville and how there's a super highway between the two and how, yeah, I could go on and on, but basically how the, the friends or the villains in the gut can influence our thoughts and our feelings and our cravings. And so, so yeah, super cool. I just, it's a great way to gently and in a fun way educate kids on this topic we've had teachers reading this book to classes we've had mums coming back 12 months later saying my child is still asking to read the book and to you know which foods does Lacey or Biffy like you know it's really cool so I hope that you like that you guys who have won that book uh, Petra deserves a prize for such a good idea that's true actually um, okay so Congratulations, uh, Lizzie. Now, I'm going to draw another prize and then I'm going to give you some hot tips for smoothie success and then we'll draw the other prizes and we'll call it a day and tomorrow then I'll come in for the, um, the Q&A at 11. All right, I'm coming back here. Now, um, can someone tell me in the comments? Um, I've actually just realised I'm not prepared for how to actually give out these prizes, so I'm just going to make up questions. Can someone tell me uh, which blend has green banana resistant starch in it? There are two blends with green banana resistant starch in it. I'll give out a prize for someone who can tell me which or a blend that has it in. And then another prize for someone who can tell me one thing that green banana resistant starch does. It's a bit of a bit, bit of a um, I think we we talked a lot about this in the fiber challenge, and I believe. A lot of you were in the fiber challenge, so I think I'm hoping that you might know this one. Um, yes, Cheryl, woo, detox, that's right. So, Cheryl, uh, you have one yourself. Um, I'm, uh, just bear with me. I need to write things down or I won't remember who's won which prize. So I just need to write, maybe I'll do it on my phone. I'm going to do it on my phone. It might be easier. Usually Jordan's here with me, um, and so... It kind of helps. Um, okay, Cheryl, I'm going to give you a detox blend, um, a detox smoothie booster blend. Uh, so great job knowing which one has that. And who was this? Who is that? I can see it's a face, someone on Facebook rather than YouTube. Can someone tell me who said that? Because I will give you one. You're welcome, Cheryl. Who was it? I know there's a delay in the comments, so I'm just going to wait a second. 
Uh, Fiona Billingsley, thank you. Okay, Fiona, I'm going to give you a gut loving blend. Billingsley, gut loving. Congratulations, you two. Um, okay, now, now I did open this. I got a, a new delivery from Stacked Whole Food Blends yesterday. Yes, I have to order myself as well, just through, through the website. Um, this is the All Rounder blend. We used to have them in the glass jars, but now we have these. We are also working toward getting compostable packaging, which is our dream. We've been holding on to this dream of compostable packaging for such a long time. We have the plan. We're just missing a couple of little pieces. So for the all-rounder blend, hmm, can someone tell me, can someone tell me one of the, oh, that's so easy, that's so easy. Can someone tell me what is, what, what's a base that you might put with this? It doesn't have to be the one that I told you. But what would you put with the Choc All-Rounder Smoothie Booster Blend? And remember, we're talking, what's the base again? Remember, fruit, veg, liquid. They're the three things that we put in with this. So give, give me your three, fruit, veg, liquid. What, what base would you put with it? Thanks, Bronwyn and Petra and Brittany. Let's get all three. <laughs> You guys, you guys are good. Can someone give me all three? There we go. Yeah, Petra, Petra won a prize. Everyone wanted Petra to win a prize. So Petra would put cashews, date paste, water, sweet potato. Awesome. That's actually the, the recipe that I think I gave you, right? This, um, sorry, it's not this one. I should show you the, I didn't bring it, the chocolate milk. We should totally put the chocolate milk in with the discount code and on the binge watch page. Um, the chocolate milk uses cashews, date paste, sweet potato and cauliflower and the chocolate milk base. And it is the best chocolate milkshake that you can get your children to, to drink thinking that it's definitely not what it is. It's called the Magic Chocolate Milkshake. It's on our recipe website if you want to check it out. So Petra, I'm going to write down what you won. Petra is the all rounder. Congrats, Petra. Okay. Um, Bronwyn says the chocolate mousse smoothie is the best. It's the original, isn't it? There's another one in the ebook that is quite nice. It's called Beyond Delish. And naturopath Georgia Harding created the recipe. And it's really yummy too. And speaking about recipes that Georgia Harding, the naturopath from Well Nourished, created, she also created an alternate recipe for the supercharged immunity blend and it's the cherry ripe one I, I gave it to you in the challenge as the alternative didn't I but that's that's the one that I go to now I love it whenever I am low on energy that's the one I will reach for because even though it does help you to strengthen your immune system and it does amazing things for you that way but the combination of vitamin C and the good fats just really gives you a fantastic and almost, I would say immediate, but within a few minutes, it gives you a fantastic pick me up. So um, there's a story that I'll share with you over the weekend of a day that I really needed that as a mum with a young child. And it just, it, it turned my day around. And I don't, I don't just say that like this, Jordan and I live and breathe these smoothies. Like we do not miss a day unless we're away from a blender. And there was a period of time last year where we didn't have a blender for a little while and phew, we missed it so much. Um, a lot of people ask me which blender we recommend. If you, um, if you want to know blender recommendations, please comment in the group or in the live chat and I might do a little post roundup about, about blenders. Oh, Petra, that's funny. You must have typed that just before I said it. What blender do you recommend? Um, Bronwyn loves the cherry ripe smoothie too. And Roma says the cherry ripe is her favorite. Oh, so it's not just me. Um, someone said, same here. Happy husband now asking for blends. A win. Yes, that is a win. So good. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do this one next. This is the Perry Menno blend. We have not spoken about this inside the smoothie boot camp. This is a bonus uh, video that I'm actually going to refilm um, 
there's a natural super kids membership are doing a, a perimenopause focus and they would they want me to do a little nutritional masterclass on perimenopause so i'm actually going to re-record it in a more succinct fashion because the other one's quite long uh and i'm going to release it to you guys over the weekend as well um so it's a bit tricky but can anyone guess or maybe someone who attended the original perimeno nutritional masterclass got a bit of a, a head start on this one but can anyone guess can anyone zoom in what would be a functional ingredient for perimenopause do you think I know it's a little bit tricky and Brittany says she's been waiting to hear about the uh, perimenopause one it is wonderful when I started to research about perimenopause I was astounded that this information is not more readily available. We don't really talk a whole lot about perimenopause. And did you know the average age to start perimenopause, whether you notice symptoms or not, is 42. That's me. I'm 42. Like I'm the average age of starting perimenopause. That took me by surprise. And there's a lot we can do to make sure that the seven-ish years of perimenopause kind of just smoothly go by. Like we really don't need to be experiencing the symptoms that traditionally and, you know, stereotypically come along with perimenopause. If you're experiencing symptoms um, like hot flushes and super, you know, moodiness and all the things, like we could list off a whole bunch of perimenopause symptoms, if you're experiencing that, it means that you entered perimenopause with imbalanced hormones already. So what we can do is work to balance out those hormones before you enter perimenopause. And it's never too late. As you're in perimenopause, you can totally balance things out as well. And this is why I worked so hard on, on this. And what you'll find is that those symptoms just don't need to be there. We've had stories coming in of people who have had this smoothie. Um, I'm trying to remember how long they had it for. It was a short time. I want to say three weeks. It might have been two, but I'm just going to say three weeks. Once they'd been on it every day for three weeks, they their health practitioner halved their medication and their PMS symptoms improved as well. Like they're the stories that are coming through. I myself have worked on balancing my own hormones and have absolutely felt the huge difference. I use I use this all the time. Um, so lots of you have, aha, oh, okay. Now you haven't, oh, wait. There's someone in the group with the first name spelt this way. Can you tell me? Were you saying that soy, were you saying soy, as a joke, because a lot of people do feel that soy is the enemy of someone in perimenopause and women in general. Can you tell me? Were you joking about soy or is that your name? And I'm sorry if you see name. I am. Um, I'm not quite sure because I like, oh, yes. Okay. Beautiful. Thank you. Can you tell me how to pronounce your name? Um, now, I'm just going to go back up. Soy is absolutely your friend. Now, I'm going to go into the details of that in the perimenopause masterclass. But suffice to say, the science is robust. We've known this for a long time, but mainstream information takes a very long time to catch up. Um, top medical doctors that specialize in women's hormones and health are all saying the same thing now that soy, good quality organic non-GMO soy is your best friend. Uh, now, when it comes to who's going to win this blend, now, uh, I'm going to give it to this person. Now, you're right that soy is in the base, but I think I asked, you know, what's in the blend. So who said maca? Who was that Facebook user? Who was that? And Petro, yeah, isn't that cool? Uh, Brittany, I'm hoping it's available now. It should be available now. If it's, yeah, no, it is because we've, we updated all the stock levels yet. Thank you, Bethany. All right, I'm just going to write that down. Bethany, congrats. You have won the Perimeno blend. Now with the Perimeno blend, because there is, and I saw someone in there say broccoli sprout powder. Yes, that is a key 
functional ingredient within the perimenopause blend. Broccoli, just I'll, I'll give you a quick little tip. I can't resist. I know we have to move on. But did you know that broccoli sprout powder has, or broccoli sprouts have 10 times the sulforaphane that broccoli does? And then also broccoli sprout powder is 10 times smaller than broccoli sprouts in volume because it gets dehydrated gently and then crushed into a powder. So let's just say one teaspoon of broccoli sprout powder actually represents about 100 teaspoons of the same level of sulforaphane um, in a, I'm sorry, 100 teaspoons of actual broccoli. Like if that helps put it into perspective, that's how that's how functional broccoli sprout powder is. Now, sulforaphane is just a powerhouse when it comes to help balancing out uh, women's hormones, particularly when you've got excess estrogen and but, but even as we move through perimenopause, there are other ways that it helps. And I'll, like, I'll spell it all out in the masterclass. Okay, so I've written down Bethany um, Kinnear for the perimeno. And uh, where do we get broccoli sprout powder, Roma? Um, you can get broccoli sprout powder at a good health food store. Please make sure, you know, the best, um, I actually had to search far and wide for this one because it's a really good quality one. Um, you don't want to get a non-organic one because broccoli is highly sprayed. It's on the Dirty Dozen list. So um, let me get the brand name. I actually spoke to the doctor who's in charge of overseeing everything at this company that makes the broccoli sprout powder here in Brisbane, just an, an hour south of me. And um, she's so passionate. She knows so much. She offered to come in and do an interview inside the community about the ins and outs of how broccoli sprout powder works. So I will get that for you. I'll just make a note. Um, broccoli sprout powder brand. It is in the perimenopause blend as well. And Roma also said, Roma, I want to say this. Maca powder is a great adaptogen and I've been using it for years before I discovered you. That's so good, Roma. Adaptogens are just phenomenal, aren't they? Maca powder can just be such a great addition to our regime in perimenopause and beyond. But even if we're just under stress, you know, an adaptogen is something that helps our body adapt to stress. Whether that stress is physical, whether, you know, our body might be trying to deal with lots of toxins, either from our environment or from inside of our body, like, you know, our body might be trying to create too much cholesterol or too many excess hormones that it's trying to get rid of. That, that type of stress, or it might even be, you know, emotional stress. It, it could be relationship stress. Any type of stress, even high physical exertion, any stress on the body, an adaptogen is just going to give your body just that little bit extra support to deal with that stress effectively. Because as I've learned in my very personal, I, I'm about to share inside the No Fast Nourish Method coaching membership my discovery about how detrimental stress is as you know like I eat whole foods I, I like to think that I eat quite well like I'm not perfect by any means but I do try and feel like I do quite well with my eating quite low tox with my body products um, turn the wi-fi off at night like I'm quite conscious about all the different stresses and toxins that come into my life however I have led a very stressful lifestyle for the past decade and I was in survival mode for the first part of, well, yeah, it was almost a decade by the time I came out of it, of, you know, probably two, three years ago. It had been a decade. And the physical ramifications of stress, and that's what that's what it is because, you know, as I speak with my health practitioners, really that's the only thing in my life that it can point to as I've had quite a cascade of effects in my health because of stress. And so now my mission in my life right now is to ruthlessly eliminate stress in my life and I'm putting myself first. I have got this brand new like schedule for myself, but this time my schedule isn't back to back of all the tasks and things I have to do, but rather it's about making sure that I'm creating time for me and my own stress balancing and my breath work and all the things that help me to resettle and to find myself in that parasympathetic nervous system more than the sympathetic one. So anyway, um, I feel like this is a topic that women in general really need to hear and understand. I certainly, you know, I was living in this, in this world of health for so long 
but yet felt like I was invincible to stress. I was like, oh, it's fine. I can get up at four in the morning and, and work and I can do this for you know years on end and it's not going to have an impact on me because I'm invincible. It's such a foolish notion. And I just, I feel quite passionate now about sharing this message of <laughs> the impact that stress can have on women. And um, I'm wondering if that's a topic that you'd like to hear more about. I feel like a lot of people say no because they're invincible like I was. I did a little poll recently somewhere and the there weren't a lot of people that put their hand up to hear more about stress. So I'm interested. What about you guys? Um, oh, interesting. Someone says they have broccoli powder, but now they're going to look into, oh, Bronwyn, um, look into broccoli sprout powder. Yes, beautiful. Roma divorce, that's right. That's one of the biggest stresses we can have. Absolutely. Roma agrees. Sounds, Roma, it sounds like you've had a bit of a journey with stress as well. Kerry, yes, Kerry, it is, it is hard to balance or to prioritize better balance when there's bills to pay. Like that is one of the reasons I stayed in survival mode for so long and you can't take a week, a week or two off. Kerry, I totally get that. And it's, it's one of the reasons that I delayed getting out of survival mode for so long. But I feel like we could talk, you know, Kerry's in the membership. Kerry, let's chat on a DM and I, I would love to help you find some way, some way in your day to just help you get into that parasympathetic state at least once a day, ideally twice a day. And that will really powerfully help you settle out that stress levels. Sadie said, I heard your talk on the podcast about stress and your journey. I had a little bit of a, it was a little embarrassing, but I'm glad you listened to it. And I, oh gosh, she, you cried listening as you basically retold my life. Oh gosh, Sadie. Send me a PM. I'd love to chat. Uh, Brittany says she'd love to hear more about stress, being a new mom and then losing my nan. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. Sent my anxiety into a downward spiral. Guys, this is, um, yeah, we do need to have this conversation. All right. I'm going to keep giving out some prizes. We're getting super distracted, but I want, I, I love to talk about this, but we're in a smoothie boot camp stuff. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh gosh. I, I was in survival mode for years and ended up getting breast cancer. Oh, Karen, I've now changed my whole life to a less stressful one and feel a lot better. Karen, you need to teach us all. This person is interested. The stress of juggling kids, work, marriage, home. Karen, I take my hat off to you. Um, Kerry, what was the podcast you were on? It was the Chris and Philly. What is the actual podcast called? It's the Chris and Philly Functional Medicine. It's Bye Bye Burnout. Gosh, I'll, I'll post it for you, Kerry. Um, I posted it in the No Fuss Nourished group. Okay, I'll get back to you. Now, oh, Kerry found it. Thanks, Kerry. That's good. That's awesome. All right, guys, let's talk about a Brain Boost prize giveaway. Um, who can tell me a food that supports your brain health? Now, typically the foods that support brain health support both prevention of brain degeneration but also brain health in the present day. You know, brain clarity, trying to kick brain fog to the curb, there's, you know, lots of us are walking around in a bit of a haze and not as sharp as we know we can be. So when we eat the functional foods that we know support our brain, and look, to be honest, a lot of, you, and you would have seen in the videos, a lot of these foods are crossovers, right? Like a sunflower seed is basically in every blend because it supports so many different functions within the body. But yet there are some quite individual specific things that, that are there for brain health. Oh, Roma, we have a similar story here. I will write a book about how I survived one day. Roma, I would love, I would love to hear your story. Really, I would. Um, if you ever write that book, please, please send it to, well, please give me a link and I'll buy it. Um, walnuts, yes, we've got, Catherine said avocado, Petra said walnuts, chia seeds, avocado, flax, black chia, yes, yes, and yes. Um, who was the first, who was the Facebook user that said walnut? We're going to give you this beautiful brain boost blend. My favorite base with the brain boost, there's a few in the ebook. There's mango macadamia. There's the, um, nut berry jam, but my favorite is actually the PB and J, <laughs> like the peanut butter and jam. Like it's really nice. Um, with the Brain Boost one, this one, some of the blends you can kind of freestyle your own bases with. 
some of the blends we had to work really hard to to create a base recipe that disguised some of the more strong tasting ingredients that are in here uh, like the moringa powder for example that is a fantastic adaptogen as well and so stick to the well unless you create an amazing base that tastes great with any particular blend i would love to 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 have it, to give it a go myself and maybe publish it in the ebooks but yeah the pb and j is a great one to stick to now who was it it was Ah, Petra, that's beautiful of you to say that. I so appreciate that. And I agree. Let's let's share it around. Let's uh, see who was next in line. Let's scroll back up. Um, da, 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 da. um okay, it's going to be because it was one in the blends, guys. I just remember that asking about the blends. So let's say chia seeds. Who was the Facebook user that said chia seeds? Who was it? Brain Booster. Who was that? I'll scroll down and see if anyone's told me. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's Bronwyn Tilly. Yeah, I thought actually there was, uh, when I scrolled down again later, I saw Petra's comment saying walnuts after someone else. You guys don't see it the same way that I see it with Facebook user. You also don't see it in the same order sometimes. So it is tricky. So yeah. Bronwyn, let's give it to you. Bronwyn Tilly. Or Tylee. Sorry if I keep on saying it wrong all these years, Bronwyn. Um, and Bronwyn, yes, I agree. Like, isn't it cool to see? I don't know, you guys have probably seen those viral posts that go around that show all the different foods that look like the part of the body that they support. And a walnut looks so much like a brain. It's incredible the way that things are created. You're so welcome, Kerry. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. We've given out six prizes. I'm gonna give out one more. Let's do a keto, which I don't I don't have it with me right now. Oh, Riley, Tylee, Tylee, Riley, Bronwyn, Tylee, thank you. I'll try to remember that. Um, let's go for a keto. Now, uh, okay. This one might be tricky because you guys may or may not have um, watched the bonus video on the ketogenic smoothie. Okay, tell me this. I hope someone knows it here. Uh, when I when I looked around at ketogenic smoothie recipes, none, not one, came close to. And like, if, if you are actually eating a kind of ketogenic lifestyle, like you're a prop, like you are legitimately wanting to be in in um, ketosis for you know as your lifestyle, you need to be hitting some very specific nutritional benchmarks to be to continue to thrive and be well. All of the ketogenic smoothies I looked at out there came nowhere close to it. And when I created the ketogenic blend and the ketogenic smoothie base. It was really tricky and we had to do a, a little magic trick to make it all work. Can anyone tell me what the magic trick is to create a ketogenic smoothie and that you can still have all your tropical fruits that you love, like, ma like mango and passion fruit and all that? And while I'm waiting for some answers, hopefully someone knows, um, Karen said, how many smoothies a day do you have? The perimeno sounds like you need to use it every day for the benefits, but I want to use all the blends for a bit of variety. They are all so good. Yeah, Karen, it's, I get this question a lot and it is tricky because I'm with you. Like all the different blends are so great in their own way. And sometimes I follow what my intuition is telling me. Like if my body just wants and craves a certain blend, then I tend to kind of stick to that one for a little while. But if I have a particular health goal that I'm working on, like if I'm in a season of life where I've got perimenopause symptoms that are just affecting my life more than I want them to, then yeah, I'd stick to that perimeno smoothie for a season of time until I'm balanced out. Once I feel like I'm balanced out, then yeah, I'd start to just pick and choose, you know, from a variety of different smoothies. And so that's kind of where I sit with it, that we can enjoy a variety of things and, and kind of whatever we feel like at the time, but if there really is a need for you to be focusing on something for a, like a project, a health project of yours for a season of time, then just dedicate yourself to that. 
and there's so much diversity within each blend, you're not going to miss out. And if you really want, like, let's say, for example, that you're in perimenopause, you've got some horrific symptoms or even just symptoms that you're not enjoying, then you want to be having that perimenopause smoothie daily, yeah? But then you also want to be, you know, looking after your liver with that, you know, there's green banana resistant starch and greens powder, in the detoxifier blend, you might just pick out those functional elements of that smoothie and just go and grab some online. Um, we used to offer them, but we don't anymore. But I can give you, I can give you some ideas. The Natural Evolution Foods has the green banana resistant stuff. And what you can do, and this is what I've been doing recently, um, I've just been having like a shot of greens powder and broccoli sprout powder as I focus. Like if I'm not having a particular blend for a little while, but I'm having a different one that still has a range of nuts and seeds and it has a range of all these beautiful, diverse things that help me. But I'll still make sure I have a little shot of whatever else I've been wanting to have in my life on the regular. But you can also have two smoothies a day. The caveat that I want to say there is that you want to make sure that you're not overdoing the fruit part of the smoothie. So gradually, like start with the fruit, start with the sweetness, but then gradually pare down the sweetness and pair up the vegetable content. And if, you, if you're doing that, then you can absolutely have two smoothies a day. Um, the reason that I don't say three is that we still need savory foods. We still want to be having other foods in our life. We want to be having spices and onion and garlic and all the prebiotic lovely foods that, you know, we are getting prebiotics in the smoothies too. But you know what I mean? We need to, you know, we need to have cooked foods as well. There's lots of, that there's, there's so much benefit to having a bit of everything and a smoothie is fantastic and it had it like I always say a smoothie is like the only way that I can think of to get that much goodness into one meal however I would still have another meal of the day have your lentils and have the things that are just you know different plus having savory foods is a great thing oh and also a lot of people talk about the importance of chewing Chewing is important because it does create and start off the digestive process. It starts those digestive enzymes. It starts getting the digestive fire working in your body and gets your body ready to get the food into your tummy and digesting properly. Now, what I want to say is this. One, you can sprinkle the top of your smoothie with anything. Like uh, sometimes I put cacao nibs on the top. Sometimes I put goji seeds Sometimes I'll put, um, I don't know, anything. I'll just put sprinkle something on the top and you can scoop that up with a spoon first and chew that to get the digestive system cranking. But here's what I want to say. The cephalic stage of digestion, which is that chewing part that starts off the, the enzymes and all those things that get things moving, that only represents 30% of that stage of digestion is, is chewing. So the other, our other senses, like if we, you know, smell, you know, when, when you're at a restaurant and you're waiting for a meal and you see and you smell the other people's meals coming and you're getting so impatient and you're getting so hungry, you start to salivate. That is the cephalic stage of digestion. That is creating digestive enzymes in, in your body. It is getting your body ready to digest food. And so chewing is important and you can actually just spend, you know, a little bit of time at the beginning of your smoothie, literally chewing the liquid just for the sake of chewing, just to tell your body food's coming. Um, but it, it do, you don't need to worry too much about it. It's 30%. You've got all your other senses as well. You've got sight, you've got the anticipation while you're making the smoothie, you're seeing all the foods go in and then you're pressing the blender button and you're seeing it whir and like I, all that counts. So that's my long-winded answer. I can hear a door. Hello. I can hear a door open. I'm the only one home. Okay. Um, I'm just going through the comments here. I'm hoping it's the dog. <laughs> um okay Karen I hope I answered that question okay now Kerry yep there's um collagen powder in the keto smoothie I forgot that we were talking about this but this is the magic trick that we talk about is fermenting and don't be scared off by the word fermenting I know it sounds gross it's really not and uh Petra I don't know but can't wait to hear about the magic <laughs> um Petra 
If that's something that you're interested in, um, have a look on the binge watch page. There's the keto um, video there. It's actually a replay of a live and the live, I've, I just watched it back the other day. It's actually quite long winded. I need to re-record it in a 20 minute video. But there's, um, the, in essence, when you ferment a smoothie, <laughs> all you're doing is you're getting the smoothie ingredients into a jar and you're pouring some coconut water kefir in there, which is so easy. We won't get too distracted, too distracted with that now. But you just sit it on the bench overnight. And what it does while it's waiting is it sucks out all the sugars because in the kefir there's all this. It's a probiotic food. It's alive and it's actually eating the sugar to stay alive. So it sucks all the sugar out, but what it leaves behind is all this probiotic goodness. So you're turning a fructose-rich food, like let's just say you're putting in lots of mango and banana and passion fruit, and you're putting all that in there. And if you're living a ketogenic lifestyle, that's going to kick you right out of ketosis super fast. But if you ferment it, and then in the morning, you can just dump it into the blender with some ice cubes to make it nice and cold. And there you have your fermented smoothie, but it's still cold, it's still delicious. I actually prefer to ferment the fruit separately and freeze it and then make the smoothie fresh with fermented frozen fruit. But just watch the video if that's of interest to you. Okay. Um, yep, Cheryl's right. Okay, so who was that? Who had that comment? Crystal Brindley, thank you to whoever told me that. Crystal Brindley. Beautiful, guys. Um, do I have any more prizes to give out? I think we've given out quite a few. I think we gave out seven. We might leave it there. I've actually got to get, I've got this family thing I've got to get to, which is why I couldn't do the Q&A today. It would have taken a long time if I did anyway. So we'll do it tomorrow, Q&A tomorrow, 11 a.m. I'm also going to do the, the hot tips for smoothie success too. If you've got some picky people at home who you think may not accept some of this goodness right away, I've got some gentle ways that you can slowly incorporate it into their life that gives you the best chance of them actually accepting all this goodness because we don't want to have a situation where, oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to make it not as scary as possible. It was someone in the house, you guys. <laughs> it was Jordan. Hey, oh, I'm, too, I, I'm too tall. I said to everyone, I can hear a noise I and I'm the only one home. Yeah. Anyway, um, discount code Carrie. Carrie just what was I saying? Oh yeah. So if you Sorry. want, if you want someone to, um, the last thing we want is for the person who we want to be accepting this smoothie, like a fussy child of ours, to turn their nose up because we've gone too hard, too fast. So I'm going to post in the group and I'll share it tomorrow at the Q and A as well. What you can do to just gently give yourself the best chance to get those fussy people across the line. Okay, uh, I'm just catching up on the comments. Oh, Carrie, it does. It really does. If if being in ketosis is something that you want, this is the answer to still have that beautiful fruit richness in your life because that's what people miss. Where is the starter for the probiotic yogurt from that you made with the coconut milk in one of the Smoothie Challenge videos? Um, I will post that. It's from Cultured Wellness, K-U-L, cultured wellness um but i will post all of that in the group um over the weekend or on tuesday i think i've got I, i've actually i think we've got a deal for you guys before you order it let me just confirm if we have a deal for you from cultured wellness okay uh yeah carrie says wow that's right petra says yes i will watch can't wait thank you also can i ask for the link on how to make the coconut water kefir please yes i've got a two minute youtube video for you to watch it's literally just adding two things together and putting it on the bench overnight. Um, all right. Well, we've kind of given away lots of prizes. Oh, that's and nice. We've announced the binge watch page and showed them the ebook. And uh, <laughs> Roma, thank you for being concerned, Roma. <laughs> um, do you want to say anything before we? Yeah. Close? Look, I always love to. Uh just consider that these the small changes that everyone makes when when they're on their <laughs> on their journey towards their ideal health situation um, although it can seem challenging and uh, the obstacles obstacles can seem sometimes insurmountable uh, it really just takes um, I think multiple inputs of education and attempting to make these modifications to the diet, and eventually you, you wake up one day and you're in a space where it is so important to you that everything else in your life fits around it. Um, and that's what I found with me anyway, that now that 
you know, we've done this for probably 15, 20 years and um, having, having that desire to fill my body with the goodness, uh, it overrides the desire to partake in these other options that are all over the place that aren't very good for our body. And, you know, it's, you guys are making some great choices and no matter how you move forward, if you're just slowly incorporating ways to flood your body with nutrition, then you eventually get to the stage where it is so important to you that it will drive all of your decisions when it comes to food. And that's one thing I was thinking um, and, and thinking about a lot lately is that, you know, it is really important and, and if we slowly chip away, it becomes our number one focus and that, you know, Often we look at other people who seem to be doing better than we are and we get down on ourselves sometimes because we we haven't gotten to the stage we'd like to be. Just keep plugging along, little changes, little steps, small progressive incremental improvements, and eventually you'll wake up one day going, this is so important to me, and, you, and you've you've shown that in your behaviours and, and your improvements, and then it just it drives all of your dietary decisions and, and you get the massive benefits, lifelong incredible benefits of eating a predominantly whole food diet. Yeah, and you and, find that rhythm that makes it yeah. doable for you. Yeah, and you don't compromise. You know, there's there's obviously these, you don't have to be perfect, though there's, I actually wanted to share a quote from an old basketball player about striving for perfection is not bad, but you also know that you're never going to get there in this life, and that's okay, but it's that drive and that 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 striving that that is really important that most other people don't do because it's, it's almost a, uh, a paradox that you know you're not going to be perfect, but you're still striving for perfection, right? Anyway, yeah, that's that's a long-winded way of saying good <laughs> on you guys, well done. Um, it's all well worth it, incredibly well worth it. And, you know, we love seeing people who are embracing this lifestyle because we know how powerful it can be for you and your children. So kudos. Yes. All right, that's a nice little pep talk at the end. Oh, can't beat that. Time to... Uh... Time to say goodbye, but I'll just answer these questions real quick. Uh, uh, Brittany, yes, it is back in stock. And, yep, I get the toddlers or the four-year-olds making noises. The good news is, yes, <laughs> it is back in stock. We've got plenty of smoothie stock um, sitting there at the warehouse. And, yeah, sorry that you missed. I'm not sure who that is, but if you missed it, there's you can always watch the replay. Replay. And I'm going to do the Q&A tomorrow. If you've just joined, q and is tomorrow at 11 a.m., um, I'm going to post the binge watch page that has all the videos that are available until midnight Monday. It's also got the ebook download on that page. Oh, Kerry, yes, Kerry. Um, I'm not sure if you were here at the beginning, but I mentioned that the code SSBlends20 is for first time people. I'm sorry if you were counting on that. It's for it's, if you've used it before. It's got a little setting on the back end that it's just for the first timers. So I, I hope you understand. I think I removed that actually. Did you? I think so. Well, no, I don't yeah. think you did because no, I thought I did. Um, she's saying that it didn't work. It didn't work. Okay. Do you, did you mean I'll to remove it? Do you want to remove it? I'll go check and see. Okay. I'll get back to you on that one, Carrie. Um, and, oh, that's right. That's okay, Lizzie. You can watch the replay. And it's see ya. <laughs> um, although we got distracted with lots of different conversations about different types of um you know, valuable topics about health. It really was just a, a big prize fest. So if you want to watch a replay, watch tomorrow's. Um, okay, everyone, thank you for joining. Thanks for being with me. I know we've gone oh, over an hour. So have a beautiful afternoon. We'll be continuing to speak over the weekend. I'll be back in here for the Q&A, and I'm also going to post the Perry Minow re-film inside the group as well. You're so welcome, everyone. And if you have any questions, just post it in the group. We will be manning it all weekend. Have a beautiful day. Bye, everyone.